Where are you? And I'm so sorry. I'm actually back in Chicago, Illinois. I'm really sorry about that. I'm seeing Blink-182 on Sunday in Chicago. Tom's back in Blink-182. And now And uh, a little fired up about it. But guys, what's up? Welcome back to Sean's first time eating sober. <laughs> I'm back in Chicago. My brother's bachelor party was incredible. That egg slut video yesterday, ridiculous. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? I, I hate to say this. The first thing is the bun. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god. After that, I put the camera away and uh, was afraid to lose it, to be honest. I did not want to bring a nice camera out with me uh, with the festivities, festivities that were going on in Las Vegas, you know? And uh, what happens in Vegas, other than getting egg slutted on, stays in Vegas. I did, however, find this clip on my phone. I think I might have shot the egg slut intro the night before, thinking I wasn't gonna be in different clothes, look very different in general, be sounding different. Was I worried I wasn't gonna remember an intro? We are in downtown Las Vegas, but today's food review, egg slut. <laughs> uh, anyway, what shirt am I wearing? And back to a little regularly scheduled programming. David Black has donated, so that means today's video is by David Black. <laughs> Do a Mexican mukbang from your restaurant of choice. Enjoy. $45, David, you the man. This is one of those things where I got very excited because I wanted to go to a place that I honestly think I've probably only had sober one time. This is like a drunk food, authentic Mexican place, but it's, it's open late, so to get it now, uh, at noon on a Wednesday is, I don't know, maybe troubling, but we'll see. So David, I'm gonna snag a bunch of stuff, we're gonna eat it, and we're gonna hang out. My dad and I did have In-N-Out Burger, we got double doubles and animal style fries and it was delicious. But um, all I have is this clip of me holding the burger. So good job, Sean. Way to, way to capture content, you dumbass. <laughs> She is most trace ponchos. Okay, so David said I asked him what some of his favorite things are because you know that's the point. I want to. I like what you guys like. <laughs> um, I said can't wait to order a bunch. What are some of your favorite things? He said nachos, tacos, giant burritos, chimichangas. We'll see what they got. I'm definitely getting a pepper steak burrito, one of my favorite things in the city from this spot, and we'll snag a few other things for a proper mukbang. <laughs> Um, can I do a pork taco? And then can I also do a Mexican sausage taco with everything? And then a junior pepper steak burrito with everything? And a nacho supreme with meat? I do chicken on those. You guys don't have chimichangas, do you? No, that's okay, that's perfect. Everything else is great. Awesome, thank you. David, I also brought the hot sauce from Barbados that you sent me. Two tacos, big old nachos. I didn't get the giant burrito after Vegas. I don't want to eat, <laughs> not trying to eat 4,000 calories, but we got a, a, mukba, a mukba, a mukbang, Los Trace Ponchos, what up? Trace, I'm getting all emotional from it, you know? It says it's 52 degrees Fahrenheit. I am sweating in a crew neck, and there's no t-shirt under this. I'm not gonna show you, but. That'd be unfortunate. Trays, dining room tables on there. Oh, sweet, dude. I'm cosplaying as Casper. I remember. I didn't go where I was supposed to go. Here's my bag of tin foil, so a burrito. By the way, this is a junior burrito. <laughs> That's a huge bitch. Two tacos. And then is there anything better than a styrofoam container of nachos? No. We did not forget to bring a towel. Don't forget to bring a towel. The reveal of the nachos. Oh yeah. It's like what you'd find in a baseball helmet when you're six years old at the ballpark. And uh, now you're an adult and you're eating it in your car for views. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm doing this for me. Nacho cheese, guacamole, jalapenos, tomatoes, onions, sour cream, and chips under there. And then the red salsa, two greens. Verdes and rojo. Roja? Ro Bro, read a book. I'm starving. I'm getting right into these. Oh yeah, and duh, I got shredded chicken on this. It's all like right under the cheese. Get in my mouth. Mm, their chicken is so good. 
So in Vegas, I went to the Las Vegas Aviators game, the minor league team for the A's. Gorgeous, got a party bus out there. We did a cabana pool party. I ate a $3 foot long hot dog after a bunch of beers. <laughs> I gambled on animatronic horses. Bet it all, bet it all. How is this an actual game that you can gamble on? Just animatronic horses. What has Vegas become? And a bunch of other stuff we don't need to talk about. <laughs> Nachos are like a ticking time bomb. Like when you order them, you have to eat them first. We all understand that, right? This chicken. Mm. This nacho was $10.75. Sometimes I'll make like the nacho sandwich. So you have the tortilla chips on the outside. Anybody else do it? It's efficient and delicious. Mm. One more bite and then I want those tacos. Mm. Unroll the first one like a mystery. Unroll the second one for the visuals. All right, this one on the left right here, this is the El Pastor, the pork. And then right here is the chorizo, the Mexican sausage. Got the double corn tortilla going on right there. I'm gonna go chorizo first. Girthy little suckers. These are $5.75 per taco with everything on them. So we're starting to get kind of up into like real north side of Chicago prices, where I think when I lived up here six years ago, they were like $3.50. But you can't argue that's not girthy. That's a nice juicy bite right there. Let's F around and see what happens. Wow. Something so fantastic about Los Tres Ponchos, the food is never dry. So much flavor, so much juice that you want in there. Mm. Let me get a bite of the Al Pastor. I'm gonna go Verde for the first little half of this. Also looking so fantastic. I mean, you can't deny it. Shaking, I'm so hungry still. <laughs> See ya. Oh my God. Okay, I forgot how good their pork is. I'm dunking right in the Verde. I don't care. Wow. Deleted. Wow, that was a nice image. Deleted. Like I said, I brought the bottle of this sauce that David sent me, the Lotties. <laughs> BYOS, dude. I'm gonna finish this other taco with some of this. Don't be afraid of a little hot mustard oh, from Barbados on a chorizo taco. <coughs> this towel is decimated. Quiet down jump cutting more than normal because it's so sloppy over here. <laughs> By the way, the hypothesis that we had of, I think this is gonna be pretty good, even though I'm sober. Solution, it is. Grow the fuck up. Now what you've all been waiting for, the crown jewel, my favorite burrito to have late night, grilled, oh, look at the brown. The pepper, the junior in quotes, pepper steak burrito. 8.55, and as I'm kind of doing this video now, I've realized how much these prices have jumped and I'm a little upset about it. This thing was like 5.55, two years ago, I swear. I'm gonna be ballsy, I'm gonna cut it in half. I wanna show you guys just what we're working with here. I don't recommend cutting this one in half, but when you're a content creator, you gotta do things you don't wanna do. <laughs> David Black, this is for you. Just pure late night happiness at 1220. At this place, you don't even need the jumbo. What if you brought a gal back to your apartment and you had that sign written on your door? <laughs> Look, I'm just trying to be honest. As unfortunate as it is that inflation is like crushing the middle class, it's also for restaurant owners like that, eating local, like they have to raise prices to make money. With all that being said, the chicken and the nachos, the al pastor and the chorizo on the tacos, and the pepper steak on the junior burrito, the meat quality is fantastic. Putting a little more of the David sauce on the burrito. That's nasty. And I do want to preface this by saying, when you have those spots like that you love, that are near and dear to you, like they serve such a good purpose at some point in your life, even when prices start to go up, as long as food quality stays the same, you're fine with it. My least favorite phrase, but I think it actually applies here, it is what it is. Look, I have to jump cut. You'll never watch another video if you saw how sloppy I am. Bye.
Also, special super thanks and donation on Venmo or PayPal. Shout out to Nancy Keith Remling, Brian Ogden, and Darcy Deming. And as always, the Rory Boyle Fan Club. Five bucks a month helping this vlog keep going and you get your name on screen in every single video. What do you have to say about that, these names and everyone else watching? It is time. To Juan, did I already tell you guys I took four years of Spanish in high school and they named everybody like the Spanish version of their white name, which now that I look back on it, I don't know if that's appropriate. But anyways, there was a guy in my class also named Sean or John and he was bigger than me because I was tiny. So he was Juan and so my teacher named me Juanito. <laughs> Dude, that's actually like kind of messed up, right? I don't, that sh whatever, sh shut up, Sean. Shut up, Juanito. <laughs> David, I love you very much. Thank you for a sloppy car side. Car side? I'm in the car. I guess I'm on the left side of the car. Trashy Mexican food feast, where I wish the price of the food didn't go up by 40%, but we here. Once again, if you guys want to try this sauce that David sent me, I'll drop the link in the description. I have no affiliation with Lottie's. They have no idea who I am, but this stuff is very, very good. So if you want to try it, snag a bottle. And I will see you again very, very soon on this channel. Take it away, Juanito. You got it, Sean. Los Tres Ponchos up. Los Tres Ponchos down. Be good to each other, please.